uh, not a whole lot of meetings um, going on. We have our budget that um, our 1415 budget that is that we look at every quarter. You know, we put together this budget and then we update it quarterly to see how we're doing. If we're hitting the numbers we thought we were going to hit as far as revenues and and if, if departments are within their budget spending within their budget. So we're um, we're looking at that right now for an update on our budget through the first quarter. It, we run on a fiscal year, so I guess it'll be through the second quarter. It's um, it's July 1 to June 30th, so um, so we're updating numbers through December 31st to see where we stand. Um, we have a great um, budget team and a great, um, really um, fiscally sound kind of um, government that's run, I would say, at the county level. And um, we really keep an eye on the numbers constantly to see if we're within budget, if we're out, if we're overspending, if, we're, if our revenue's dropping, we make adjustments kind of on the move constantly to see where we are so that we end up you know, with, a, with a balanced budget. So um, so we're working on that right now. We've got a lot of projects that looks like we have a whole lot of money because we're building a whole lot of stuff that's um, kind of safety related. The deputy may be on here, but, but we've, we're building about 480 new jail beds. Um, part of that is having to um, do with the um, realignment, the 8109. We've talked about that here a little bit. Um, the prisoners that were sent from the state prisons to the back to the county and we've um, we didn't have a place to put them so we ended up letting out the least of the bad guys and trying to keep in the worst of the bad guys and but we are building um like i said we have 480 new maximum security beds that we're that we're working on in the process of right now building um, the money for that most of it came from state grants that we got a lot of um, state funding that we got to do that not a not really general fund money for that the um, which is the uh, kind of money we get from our property taxes that basically the county kind of runs off the money we get from our property taxes and I've told you here before that for every dollar we collect the county gets to keep about 11 cents of it the rest of it goes to the school system or to the state or to the different um, cities throughout the county and so um, out, out of that general fund money we have to operate those jails so we get money from the state and federal money to help build these jails but then we we have to maintain them we have to keep the deputies in there we have to pay for the the health care for the inmates that are in there and so um, so out of our general fund out of this 11 cents that we have that's part of the money we use to operate those jails so so there's 480 beds that we're building we probably won't have those all come online for sure we're not going to have those all come online at once because we don't have the money to um, to operate we don't have enough money to pay for the deputies to to run that many beds but the great part about this funding that we got to do this usually if they give you the funding you have to put them in place right away you have to have those beds up and running but this funding allowed us to get online as we as we needed them so and as we could find the funding so if we um, were to put all 480 beds in place start them up right away fill them up and we could fill them up because we've got plenty of bad guys to put in there um, it would probably cost us we're thinking now we're thinking about 17 million dollars more a year to um, to run those 480 additional beds so so we've got a plan on how to get there and do that. We're just going to have to do it over a few years. So it won't be like the doors open up and there's 480 guys that we're going to, guys or girls that we're going to put in these beds. It's going to be a gradual thing that we will fill that thing up. But, uh, but it's good we have it, especially with Proposition 47 that was unfortunately passed that actually allowed um, more people out on the streets um, and changed the classification of a lot of crimes from felonies to misdemeanors. So just that alone, we had to let a lot of people out of the jail. Um, and most of the time, they end up coming right back in. Um, the recidivism is, um, turn, you know, they turn around and get right back out in the community and do another bad thing, and they get back in. I read a thing on the paper, I don't know if you saw it yesterday or today. It was a quote from a guy that they had arrested. He, I think a CVS over there by Bridgemore that I think that he had robbed the CVS by Bridgemore. And, and he said, um, I don't know, the reporter said, I got the quote from this guy while I was, he said that, you know, he had robbed the CVS. He only did six days in jail for the CVS, right back up and robbing another place. The right by it, I think over by Panda Express, I think is where it was. He got right back out and robbed another place. And um, and his comment was, well, I only had to do six days for that one, so I had nothing to lose. And that's because we can't keep these people, that lower level offender, that burglary type of offender, we can't keep them in. We've got to keep the, the gang bangers and the murderers and the rapists and those are you know, the high level ones with all that we have space for. So. So even the bad guys know what's going on out there, and that's not very good when they know that they can uh, they can get right back out and uh, no consequences for their actions. So anyway, we're working hard to try to fix that. Can, um, you, can you 
you share what you did today at your meeting about the um, youth group funding for the, the children, the, um, what do you call it, their foster care? The, uh, you know, the, <laughs> sorry, what is it, the county program that deals with kids that go in and out of foster care? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So okay. So so we had yeah. It was just it was just an update on is what it was we did today. Is that what you're talking but about? But you approved our positions, didn't you? We did. You know what you voted yeah. on? That's what yeah, I was okay. yeah. <laughs> So there's a there's a I'm sorry. It's been a busy day. Yeah. We have we have a um, there was a, a review that the state requires that we do of our program for this county program involving um, kids that um, that we have to pull out of their houses, pull out of their homes because of. Um, Child Protective Services have to come in and then we try to get them back into the homes. And, and so um, the report came out and, and um, didn't look well kind of for the county because it said that we were, the, the state wants us to reunite these children back into their families, uh, back in with their families quickly. And, um, and so we actually had an increase in the amount of that weren't getting back into, they were, we were holding them longer in foster care they weren't getting back to the, or, or they were going back to the families or having to come right back out of the families again. So the state has certain standards they want us to meet. And, and problem, we, problem families. Problem families, for sure. And so um, so uh, we actually have, are hiring more people. There was more positions that we, that we um, allocated for to try to help us with the situation. The problem is that I have with the whole thing. You know, did you watch the thing? Yeah, I oh, yeah. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> It's nice to know someone's watching us. I'm eating my oatmeal. Why should you see me? That's good. So, um, so the problem that I have with it though is the state has standards, and they want us to, to get these kids back into the families. Well, I would rather trust, and, and I'm afraid that the the pressure to get these kids back to these families um, on on our workers, on our county employees, I I don't want them to feel pressure to get these kids back to their families. I'd rather it be their decision. They're, they're the boots on the ground. They're the ones that know what's going on with the kid and the families. I'm afraid we're going to be trying to get kids back into a family situation that they probably shouldn't be going back into just to try to keep the state happy and, um, and to make our numbers look better. So that's my fear. They have those same concerns, and they're making sure um, that that's, they assured me that that's not happening. But it still is when you've got these, when your funding is all tied to these certain requirements that they want you to do. Um, there's that, you know, whether it's, it's consciously or subconsciously that you want to get this kid back into the family because you know the pressure's on to do that. It might not be the best thing for the kid. They might end up having to come right back out. It might put it back in a bad situation. Anyway, I, I would rather trust our county employees than I would some state requirement. And so um, that's a dilemma we're faced with there all the time. But yeah, that was something we dealt with today. So we have another thing that we're working on. One last thing that we're working on, um, a big change, kind of a shift in government the way government thinks, and I've talked about this a little bit before, how we we always treat the symptoms in government, we never treat the disease, and, and which means we're working all, always on things that are as a result of something deeper that caused that. And so we are we have a thing called Focus on Prevention 2015 that we are um, that we are working on right now as we speak. That we're going to try to change the focus of, of and it's not going to be the government going out, it's not going to be the county going out and throwing a bunch of money more at a program. We're trying to bring together all the different. Um, communities, all the different, um, whether it's faith-based or, or, um, or education or, you know, private sector or um, arts and media is one of the areas we're looking at, bring all these together because we have so many good people in this county that are working on trying to solve the problems. The problems are basically our kids. That's where it all starts. If we want to fix this community, we start with our kids. And I'll tell you, within 10 years, we take a seven-year-old with 10 years, we can turn that child around, we can break a chain, we can, you know, these are children who are in bad situations, broken homes, and, and that end up in our county system, and your tax dollars end up paying for that child over the next 10 years. Um, if we look at our budget of a billion dollars, and we spend about 75% of it on treating these symptoms of, of a child that started off in, in, in a bad situation and worked his way rather than the Child Protective Services, to foster care, into our juvenile hall system, into our adult detention system, our DA's office, prosecutor, public defender, you know, defending them, probation office. It's just amazing the money we spend all as a result of that kid starting off in a bad situation. So we are trying to go back and direct, not necessarily funds, because we're, we're not another government program we're going to throw money at. The government probably has been an enabler of a lot of this problem, I think, because it is the government has stepped in and said, we can solve this, but the government can't fix that kind of problem. All of us can fix it. And so um, 
So we are trying to direct that, uh, uh, bring together a lot of people in the community and start working towards that, that um, disease, towards the root, root cause of those problems. And um, there are a lot of good organizations out there that are working on these things. A lot of them are competing with each other. They're, they're tripping over each other. There's no coordination there. And so we're going to try to bring all these organizations together and start to focus on our kids and start to focus on that uh, on an early age, these children, and try to break that chain. And, and you, you literally, I think, could change a community in 10 years if you could get to those kids and break that chain of, of that continued where they grow up in and then they do the same thing with their kids. And so um, anyway, it's a big project and it's a big mindset kind of cultural shift that we're, um, that we're asking government to do here, not to just go in there and treat the symptoms. We want to go in there and, and fix the problem from the beginning and then the symptoms will go away. You know, we're going to cure the disease is what we're trying to do here. So, so are you talking about like after school programs? We're talking about is that the same one that you talked about at the city county liaison meeting that also dealt with homelessness? Right, right. Okay. Yeah, we have and enough. I did ask for Salida to be added to that group because there's people here that and churches that would be a part of that. Yes, yeah. most yeah. definitely. So yeah, we're gonna look at homelessness, we're gonna look at um, at um, early intervention for kids, recidivism, and um, there's one other area that there's we're drug at. drug addiction. Yeah. Yeah, so all of these areas we're going to try to get into and start start working on. Um, it's going to take a long time. It's a long-term project. It's, like I said, it's probably a 10-year project. Everybody wants quick results. That's why we have all these government programs that we have to try to deal with all these symptoms. Because it's all, we'll just go in here and we'll fix it and we'll do this. We'll spend money on this. And that doesn't that doesn't cure the disease. It just treats the symptom. So it's, it's a, it's a, a long-term you know, there aren't going to be instant results from this. It's going to take a lot of um, a lot of time, and you won't see results right away. But eventually, it's a, it's a, you have to have patience, and eventually, we're going to get to a point where we're going to start to see a community changing if we can really make this thing come together and work. So, something that's different than government has done in the past. So that's probably a big thing that we're.